So uh, today's an important day for the rising ninth graders. Uh, try to give them a feel for the building, a flavor of what happens here on a daily basis. We try to give them as much information as we can about the school without overwhelming them with information because their heads going to be spinning anyways. So uh, we hope to kind of ease them in in a kind of a good-natured way, um, show them who some student leaders are, if they need a familiar face in the building, and make them feel as comfortable as possible for what's really a real tough transition for anybody. So we invited kids that were sports captains, student council members, um, NHS board, people like that. They're just good role models for the kids. You know, th these kids were sitting in that seat three, four years ago. Uh, same nerves, same anxiety, same questions, um, and th they found their niche. So one of the big changes we made this year um, was, there actually were two big changes, and they were both student ideas, right? They were generated by the kids, which is what makes it, I think, really effective. One is we group kids up by their advisories. Um, they're gonna be uh, in these 13 or 14 student advisories for the next four years. Uh, and eventually, they're gonna meet with these, with these advisories once a week, um, and sometimes once a day. So um, we really wanted to get them familiar with their advisory mates uh, early. And secondly, um, the scavenger hunt was new. Um, we kind of rearranged the, the times, we cut some times off other parts of the program to, to be able to carve out a half an hour uh, for that scavenger hunt. And I thought that was great. The energy during that portion of the day was fantastic. They were running around the building trying to find various things. Um, so it was a good way for them to, you know, um, let off some energy, explore the building, see the building, um, uh, and have a little bit of fun. My one piece of advice for the incoming freshmen is time management, like making sure everything's done, you're sleeping enough, and all your homework's in. <laughs> I think the most important thing for any kid uh, is to be involved, right? Find something that keeps them here besides the academics. And we all know that that's the priority. Um, but we also know it, reality is a lot of kids come to school for things that happen after school. They like their time here but I, during the school day, I get that. But it's what happens you know, when you know, 210 arrives uh, that kind of keeps a lot of kids going. Um, and, and that's my advice to all kids who come through the building. I have my own kids are right now in high school. Um, and you know, that's a big part of their day, the after school stuff. So whether it's an athletic event or music or club, um, I think that if they get involved, they'll find the four years will fly by and they're gonna meet with great success.